Good afternoon, my name is Nakia Barber and I am completing the capstone project for the Instructional Technology Education Specialist Program at Kennesaw State University. The title of my capstone project is Increasing Students' Lexile Scores with Technology. One of the many concerns that we see with our students at Conyers Middle School is reading and vocabulary comprehension. As a whole, many of our students are reading below grade level. Therefore, as a whole, our school's Lexile score seems to be either below or approaching in that particular level of our scores. The focus of my capstone project was to implement the CLEAR program in my classroom through the use of technology. So the goal of this project was to see if adding technology to our CLEAR program, which I'll explain in just a second, would it increase students' Lexile scores? Here's an insert from a grant that we applied for and was approved, but it simply talked about where our students were so that we can get additional funds to support literature, reading essentials, um, and other software that the students could use in order to build their literacy. That includes vocabulary. Um, the reading says the scores were low, prove there's a need for additional literacy support in all content areas. 20% of teachers do not feel confident in their ability to use Lexile scores to match students' text. So as I was doing my research, um, I did understand that teachers have to approach reading in a different manner. Traditionally, we use books, textbooks for most of our reading, whether it's the newspaper, there's an article. Um, if the students are going over content, of course, we use our textbooks. So in order to move on to 21st century learning, our teachers indeed have to take a different approach as how can we get students to want to read um, so that they're building vocabulary, comprehension, and it also includes their writing skills because our students' writing skills also affect um, their comprehension and response to reading passages and so forth and things like that. So this basically was just saying that teachers need a different approach and a lot of them don't know how to include technology. So the goal of this project was to use a program, or I'm not going to call it a program, I'm going to call it um, an incentive that we had at our school this year, which was called CLEAR. Um, CLEAR stands for Accounting Lexile Encourages Active Reading. So our schedule changed this year from period to block so that we would get more time in content areas. So in that, um, five minutes of connection time went into reading. Um, an additional five minutes went into writing. In the content classes, 15 minutes went into reading and five minutes went into writing. The, the purpose of this was to have students read things that they really wanted to versus, you know, everything about that particular content, but more student interest reading so that they would want to read. And because of that, we would engage the students in reading passages, getting them prepared for our milestone, understanding tense, um, vocabulary, and also their writing skills. So this CLEAR also pushed their writing skills. But these are the steps for CLEAR. Um, the kids could choose any text they wanted to enjoy reading. Sometimes, occasionally, if your teacher printed out um, something, an article, and they wanted to use that as an introduction to a lesson, then, of course, you could use that for your CLEAR. But the next step, again, I told you about the times. They could use five minutes in connections, 15 minutes in the other classes. Then they would choose a quick write option from the list that I'm about to show you. And it's a list of 30 different prompts, and based on whichever one they pick, that's what their writing has to be about. Once they complete the quick, quick write by writing in a well-developed sentence, you'll have five minutes in each class to complete that. So here's a look at the quick write choice board. Students get to pick one of the 30. And that's what they write about. For instance, 22 says create your own response. Be creative, playful, and fun. If it's not any of the three, I'll hand it back to you. But um, it could be a different one, like 25. What is the relationship between the author's purpose theses and supporting a disc? So this was something clear, was something that was implemented this year. So my thought for this project is how I can take clear, but turn it into something that the students do online using technology. So after doing a lot of research about the software that our school currently had available in the literacy category, I decided to use um, a software called Achieve 3000. 
So in this project, we used Achieve 3000 to implement a program for students to read and also learn about what they're reading so that the students can increase their fluency, vocabulary skills, comprehension skills, and writing skills. In the program, Achieve 3000 students have an account. The teachers also have an account and have the ability to create and assign lessons for them to complete. One component of the software allows students to complete an assessment that will provide them their Lexile scores. I chose this software because it allows students to track their own progress as they're completing different modules. The last stage of technology implementation is ebooks. The students will learn how to check out books online and complete different writing activities in order to improve their Lexile scores. So here's a closer look at what the students would see once they logged into um, this one is actually called Kid Bids. It's it's um it's a part of Achieve 3000, but they have a special part called Kid Bids. So the teacher gets to create a class online, and in that class, she gets to assign them daily articles or passages to read. So it would be the teacher's responsibility to go in and assign something for them to read, and then you can see that they first have to do a poll. The poll relates to that reading activity. So then they'll actually do their reading activity. Then they'll have an activity. The activity could be a class discussion. The activity could be multiple choice questions or some vocabulary skill builders. And then they'll have a after reading poll and then thought questions where they can ask questions. And then after this is done, we can do a collaborative discussion about what we read. One of the things I really like about Kids Biz is based on your Lexile score, the passages are modified from student to student. So although we're reading the same activity, it may not appear on each student's screen because it's catered to their Lexile score and their development as far as reading. To evaluate the effectiveness of this initiative, the students took the initial Achieve 3000 Lexile score assessment at the beginning of this project. During the course of the project, we examined their Lexile scores and charted their scores throughout the class. Additionally, I observed the students and monitored their modules to see improvements in their writing and how well they were developing their reading based on the discussion logs and questions answered. So this basically shows me that in August, they did their pretest. The capstone only covered September to April. So as you can see, um, as a teacher in the administration part of the program, you're able to see the different um, months when they do the assessments, and it also updates their Lexile score. So you can actually see progress from month to month to see if they're improving, still on level, or if they fell below level. At the end, these were my results. We did a pretest before. Um, about 12 students were falling below. I wanted to really move kids from the falling below to either approach or especially meet. Um, we did have two kids that still were in the fall below category, but we at least pushed everybody to approaches, meets, and we did have some exceeds as well. Um, the capstone experience was one that allowed me to take a journey with students as they worked to increase their reading skills. As they worked modules through the module online, I feel as though the interaction they experienced online was a direct impact of their success. While completing the activity online, I often compare their success to the classroom that do not have technology during clear. So based on teacher conversations, those students are reading but aren't really getting a meaningful lesson which correlates to their success. Um, after the students completed their assessment, I did tell you that all but two were still on the very end. So here are some software tools that you can use in your classroom. I did mention that at the end of the um, capstone project, we moved to ebooks. Our um, school has a system called Follett, which allows the students to go online and check out books. Um, they're able to read it in order to assess what they're reading. They have a little note section, and in that section, I would just go back in and read their reflection. Once a week, we'd allow students to share what they've learned. Um, and in this project as a whole, I've learned as a teacher how important it is to find resources that benefit students. 
As an instructional technology coach, it is important to make sure your teachers are aware of opportunities that your students can take to meet their academic needs. This project lasted for several months, but by implementing small steps along the way, um, the students really benefited from that. And I know next year we're moving to one-to-one -to -one devices, so this project can be used in other classes where I will um, share my results with other teachers to let them know that they can use the kids bids in order to build student fluency and vocabulary skills and reading comprehension.